Ask most Miami residents what they think of the downtown area, and they'll probably tell you it's a place to work or to drive through in the morning, and after hours, it's something to avoid. But the fact is, downtown Miami is changing dramatically. Not only do we have uh, new office buildings, uh, new hotels, uh, and uh, residential units, uh, we have all four. Roy Kenzie is executive director of the Downtown Development Authority. There's about uh, between those that are under construction, planned, and ones being completed or just completed, there are about uh, 58 different projects. Projects currently under construction include the new Miami Center, the Southeast Bank Financial Center, and the new Metro Dade Cultural and Government Centers. What are you people doing here? I haven't finished this place yet. Who are you? That was the ghost of Henry Flagler making an unusual appearance during an official tour of the new cultural center. He and other more contemporary Miamians spoke highly about the new downtown, which is expected to put Miami at the top of the list of American cities engaged in urban development. We've been able to do that in a short period of time, plus do the public amenities, the convention center, the government centers, the new parks, and, and those kinds of things, to make it an attractive place for people to operate within when they're downtown. And there are plans to spend more than a billion dollars in the next few years on such projects as a new Bayfront Park, middle-income housing, and the downtown people mover. Mark Trank, Channel 4 News.